Morning Lakeville South and welcome to the South Side for December 20th, 2018. I'm Kevin. And I'm Joseph. We have another great show for you today, so let's get started. The boys basketball team beat Rosemount on Tuesday and currently has a 4-2 record. Zach spent some time with the team to find out more about their season. Boys basketball is a huge part of the culture at Lakeville South High School. Uh, hopefully we have a winning record and uh, just do really good as a team. My favorite part is just being around my friends and, you know, playing basketball, winning games, stuff like that. Different players enjoy different parts of basketball. My favorite part about basketball is competing and working hard with my teammates. My favorite teammate is Dylan Schultz. We've been playing together a long time and I love playing with him. Goals for the team this year, make it to state and play in the target center. Throwing lobs to Big Worm for him to miss dunks. Gotta say, Avery Mast, Big Ave, because of his head. <laughs> this is Zach Enders, reporter from the South Side. Thanks, Zach. Good luck to the team as they play at Eastridge and Woodbury tomorrow night and in their tournament in St. Cloud over the break. Our theater program recently produced a classic holiday story, It's a Wonderful Life. Luke spent some time with the cast and crew. Recently, the theater program put on a show of It's a Wonderful Life. My favorite part of the play was for sure, being able to look into the audience and seeing how it affected people. I really loved being around new people and the new director and just going over more of the base, basic acting strategies and everything and just tips and everything. I talked to some of the cast about what they love about being a lead. Um, in, the, in the play, it was a lot of fun being the lead because it gives you the opportunity to um, work with basically the entire cast. And you know, then you get to see like the whole side of the story and you get to interpret the story how you want because when you're the lead it like the story revolves around you and you can take that however you want to kind of want with your emotions and you can add sort of things like that but you know obviously you still have to follow the script but you can kind of in a way make the play your own and it's a really fun quality of being a lead. <laughs> Being a lead in the play is really fun and exciting, and this is one of my first leads in a play, and working with a new director and with new people is always a fun time. What's it like being the lead in a play? It's a lot of responsibility for sure, and it's a lot of lines to memorize and a lot of stage direction, but it's really fun. Having that ability to have so much of a play to be able to express to people is so cool. The play wouldn't get done without a lot of hard work from the cast, which includes practice every single week to get ready for the show. Well, play practice kind of varies on where you are in the show. Towards the beginning, it's mostly just reading your lines, memorizations, and as, as the days go on, you know, you start incorporating things like costumes, makeups, and sets. And you know, in the beginning of practice, it'll probably be like, you know, like an hour or two after school, but then, like the last week of before shows, we call it um, tech week or hell week, if I'm allowed to say that. Um, and, um, <laughs> well, that's like where we're at school from like 3 o'clock to like 9 o'clock every night until performances. So like it really starts to pile on towards the end, but the payoff is fantastic. This is Luke Wiley reporting for the South Side. Thanks, Luke. Congratulations to the cast and crew on a great show. The boys hockey team beat Burnsville on Tuesday and currently has a 4-2 record. Leith has some more information on the team. A very exciting winter sport, hockey, is starting up and the boys are expected to go very far. So what do the boys think about the new season? Uh, uh, pretty good. I think we'll have a lot of skill. we got some young players with a good mix of seniors and we'll be able to win or compete in every game. Uh, I like all my teammates. We're all really close, good friends, and I think that helps us be a better team. You know, I'm very excited for it. I think that uh, we're a very good hockey team and we can beat a lot of good teams in the state. I feel like this, this year we have a really special bond. We're really close together. I think that helps us and carries onto the ice. My favorite thing about hockey is that uh, I can come to the rink every day and compete with my teammates and have fun while doing it. I feel pretty good about this season. I think we'll make a good run in sections and hopefully make it to the state tournament and then end up winning the state tournament. I feel like we're really close. We're not really teammates. This is our second family. My favorite thing about hockey is definitely making a lot of memories with the boys. This season's going to be really good. I hope we make it to state and hopefully win state. Uh, my teammates are awesome. They're like a second family to me. 
Uh, my favorite thing about hockey is being able to compete and come to the rink with all my best friends. How do the super fans feel? Oh, I say my favorite part about hockey is when the greasy left wing comes down the side and just whips the bisky bar down on the tendy. I think the boys need to work on getting their greasy snappers top shelf because uh, they're trying to beat them five four, but the goalie's just beating them so solidly, and I, you know, they just gotta get them more greasy. I'm definitely gonna be watching for some more sellies. Uh, it's definitely the most important part of the game, and if your sellies not strong, then might as well just not score. We're hoping for a very good season from the boys' hockey team. This is Leith reporting for the South Side. Thanks, Leith. Good luck to the team as they play in a tournament at St. Louis Park over the break. That's all the time we have for you today. We'll leave you with a video from Colin Fleming made in film analysis class. Thanks for watching and have a fun and safe holiday break. Bye. Belfast have in store for me. And then you start thinking about ideas. What ideas do you have that you can fulfill today to make an interesting vlog? Yeah, it's kind of what this is. You've got to find what you love. And that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Enjoyment is the spark that ignites passion and enthusiasm. In other words, what I'm saying here, rather than focusing on what isn't working and all the things that need to be done, shift your focus and your way of thinking to the things in your life that are working. Your first goal, this is what I'm suggesting, your first goal when you open up your eyes should be to focus on the things that ignite your spirit and bring you joy. Maybe there's an event coming up on the weekend. Maybe, maybe you're meeting with your friends for lunch. You see folks, it doesn't matter who it is or what it is. There's always something to be grateful for, to appreciate.